back from Afghanistan, 64 Royal Engineers march onto an unseasonably wintry Hameln parade ground. It's a homecoming celebration, but also a moment to remember Captain James Townley and Sapper Richard Walker, who both died during the Afghanistan tour. James Townley sadly, sadly died at the end of September in Shawkat. Uh, he was a, a great individual who cared fondly for his soldiers and had a real lust for outdoors. Richie Walker, a real cheeky chap from the northeast of England, uh, absolutely adored by his fellow soldiers. But it was an Afghan soldier who shot Richard Walker and also wounded six other sappers on the final day of a patrol base assignment. The, the troops' reactions were second to none, really, to uh, extract the casualties. And 40 Commander did a uh, sterling job of uh, controlling the firefight so the engineers could extract all their casualties. Some of the injured are here today, receiving campaign medals from the Royal Engineers Corps Colonel. In Helmand, 4-2 Field Squadron's main job was to decommission bases and carry out work to enable a British handover to Afghan forces. And whatever you've touched, and you've touched all over Afghanistan, you've delivered perfectly. So a good job during a rough time is how the Engineers Corps Colonel sums up 4-2 Field Squadron's achievements and among the troops, there's obvious relief to be home. Really pleased to be back. I've seen all my family have come over to Germany. I've walked far to go home and see my family. I've brought my girlfriend out here so, so she can watch the parade. Uh, obviously trying to acclimatise this, this weather, um, but yeah, just generally glad to be out of that country and, and back here. Some engineers are still returning to their Hameln base, but this has been 4-2 Field Squadron's very last Afghan mission. Government defence cuts mean that the unit will have to disband later this year. Rob Olver, Forces News, Hamelm.